Hey plant lovers, welcome back to Ken Mushroom LLC. Today, I'm going to share with you how I made a propagation box for my pothos cuttings. This is a super easy and efficient way to propagate your pothos and I can't wait to show you how I did it. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for your support. Now, let's get back to it. First, I cut some stems from my pothos plant. Pruning your plant stimulates new growth, which can make your plant fuller and more lush. To make this propagation box, you'll need a plastic container and some sphagnum moss. You will also need some pyrolite. I use the 1 to 1 ratio of sphagnum moss and pyrolite. I mix it up and I add enough water to make it damp but not soaking wet. From my experience, I noticed that when the mixture is too wet, you have a higher chance of mold buildup and you definitely don't want to be growing mold, you want to be growing roots. <laughs> I cut up some stems from my pothos plant making sure to leave two to three leaves at the top. Then, I placed my cuttings in this sphagnum and perlite mix, making sure they were securely nestled in. And remember guys, the whole point of this is to make sure that the plant node is securely in the mix so it can have a substrate to form the roots. I then put a lid on the container, making sure it was secure and airtight. I placed my propagation box in a warm, bright spot in my home and I checked it every now and then to make sure that the sphagnum moss and perlite mix was still damp. After about two and a half weeks, I checked on my pothos cuttings and to my delight, they had started to grow new roots. Check this out. Take a look at these beautiful pothos cuttings. They have grown a significant amount since I placed them in the propagation box. The sphagnum moss and the perlite mix provided a moist environment for the cuttings to grow and the plastic container kept the humidity high. Everything you need for successful propagation. This propagation box is perfect for anyone who wants to propagate their pothos easily and quickly. It is affordable and an effective way to grow your plant collection. I love this propagation box and I can't wait to use it for other plants as well. I'll keep the cuttings in the propagation box a little bit longer and then I will transfer them into soil. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching and that you'll give this propagation box a try. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more plant related videos. Also check us out on Instagram at Ken Mushroom LLC. Thank you for watching. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.